Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dent Coin Analysis. And today's agenda for discussion is we are going to discuss uh, from where and how the value of Dent tokens are derived and what Dent could be worth as a business as a whole. So let's have a look um, how the value of Dent tokens are derived from. The Dent tokens value is actually derived from the data demand on the marketplace, which is facilitated by the Dent consumer facing mobile app and the Web 2.0 Dent Exchange app for telcos. So, the Web 2.0 Exchange app for telcos is something like a trading terminal. You can imagine like a Bloomberg trading terminal for uh, trading mobile data. So the tel tel telcos on mobile operators can launch um, new data packages and new data plans on the their trading platform. So there are two places from where the value of Dent is derived. So first one is the Dent app itself, which facilitates the marketplace for consumers to be able to trade, buy, and sell data. The second, pl second place from where the Dent value can be derived is the Dent Exchange app for telcos, which they can use to promote different mobile data plans. And the third one I would, which I missed, I would say, which is not uh, in, at the moment in the um, Q Android release scheduled in February this month. So the third utility is the demand for Internet of Things. So imagine you have a Tesla car with uh, which is uh, as a demand for data so all the iot devices are going to be having a crazy demand for uh, mobile data so the price of dent has got nothing to do with the price of bitcoin or ethereum as the consumers who actually trade and buy data on the dent app use fiat currencies to buy data and not cryptocurrencies at least for now which could change in the future potentially. So the users are actually buying data against using fiat currency and not um, any cryptocurrency. So that clearly means the value of Dent is directly driven by the data demand on the marketplace. So you can think Dent uh, outside of crypto space, it might be Bitcoin or Ethereum, as it's trying to create a mobile marketplace driven by consumer mobile data, not just crypto space alone. We all use mobile data on a daily basis, independent of whatever the price of Bitcoin or Ethereum could be. Bitcoin could be going up or down, whatever it is, we use mobile data, period. Yep. Dent's value comes and derived from, or derived from the real consumer facing app and the Dent exchange itself. So users buy data using Fiat on the Dent app. So it has real revenue model, which is very important to understand. So Dent has a real revenue model, which is pegged against demand for data. So as the people start demand for data increases, so does the utility of the tokens as well. So if the value of Dent coin is let's say is derived from just from the crypto space then i agree that the price value is somewhat connected to the bitcoin price of crypto market cap but after the u.s senate hearing on february 6th it looks like businesses will be happy to trade utility coins for value which is a great news for dent's business model so whoever is planning to invest in dent or actually investing in not just a crypto token or a crypto coin just like any other ico coin remember mobile data exists and has a huge market independent of the crypto space so dent coin can completely and safely be decoupled from ethereum or bitcoin and it can completely operate in isolation from the price of ethereum or bitcoin so dent could be considered as the first um, one of the 1500 utility tokens 
cryptocurrencies this is going to be the first one which is going to operate completely and totally independent of the price of bitcoin or ethereum which which is going to likely to happen once the android app is released in the end of this month so dent is creating four disrupting things as well so first thing is as i said it's trying to create a mobile marketplace using the dent mobile app and the second is the dent exchange itself and the third place is the dent is being traded as a currency in a crypto exchange as well that could bring value as well because uh, if somebody finds value in the product then the user adoption increases with user adoption the value of the product grows high so the value is traded in a crypto exchange as a utility coin then the fourth one is the internet of things and the fifth one is the dent app itself imagine the dent app is being used by 500 million users after the android release that's going to be really huge so that could drive the value of token so the value of take token could come from all these five places that i mentioned and they could be potentially disrupting as well so whatever the price of bitcoin or ethereum could be but dent is and will be completely operational if even bitcoin price has to go to zero in value because mobile data is not going to go away as long as there is demand for mobile data so long does dent will have a utility and value so does bitcoin has anything to do with your mobile data consumption i suspect not so let's take the market cap of crypto out of our minds and think dent in terms of mobile data and the value of it is traded in the crypto exchanges and it has nothing to do with the price of bitcoin whatsoever think data as a commodity and the commodity its value is traded is derived from data demand on the market price remember dense value is not derived from the price of bitcoin or ethereum i want to emphasize on this so let's have a look what dent could be potentially worth as a business so we we just now analyzed how the value of the tokens are derived and now the shift is to analyze what the what dent as a business is worth so we all know that the total data demand currently which is in 2017 is around 10 exabytes which equates to 10 billion gigabytes and the total value of this data is around 1.5 trillion dollars remember dent have as an international presence not just in one country or just one mobile provider so after the android release it's going to be you can imagine uh, 500 million users um who have a smartphone have direct access to the dent app so imagine even if 10% of the market share if dent could achieve then that could put dent at a value of 150 billion dollars as a company with even 1% market share dent as a business could be easily valued at 15 billion dollars which means dent tokens could easily be worth 1.5 dollar per dent token and imagine assume this 1.5 dollar evaluation is based on the current supply of 10 billion tokens and not the total supply of 100 billion people get confused here the total mark total supply of total number of tokens is 100 billion but what is actually traded in the cryptocurrency exchange is only 10 billion tokens so this evaluation is against what it is traded in the cryptocurrency exchanges so i know there are few people we guys get confused with 100 billion token supply to entertain them let's assume dent gets 10% market share which will value dent wireless at 150 billion dollars as a company which now makes the value of dent token to 1.5 dollars based on the 100 billion token so hope uh, this clears um, very well